Hello, have you ever wondered what it is like to develop embedded firmware without using any IDE? Just use your simple text editor and the command line. Have you heard of build systems like Make or even have you heard of Make files? If so, have you ever wondered how these tools can be applied to embedded firmware development to automate the build process? If you have no idea of what build systems are or if you do not know what make files are, do you want to learn about them from scratch and apply them to your embedded firmware development? If any of this applies to you, then you can keep watching this overview video. If this applies to you, then you are invited to join our new course, the Extreme Embedded Bare Metal Development course. The goal of this course is to teach you how to set up an embedded toolchain, set up a build system, and then navigate the reference manual and data sheet of the tools as well as the target microcontroller to develop firmware for the target microcontroller without using an IDE or an integrated development environment without using an IDE, without using any libraries and without using third party header files. This course is much more than just getting the code to work. If at least one of the following applies to you, then keep watching this overview video. Do you want to escape from the following? One, do you want to escape from using IDEs or integrated development environment? Two, do you want to escape from copying and pasting code you don't understand? Three, do you want to escape from using third party libraries and header files like HAL? HAL stands for the hardware abstraction layer. Another header file that people often use is the LL header file, which is also provided by ST. And then STD perif all of these header files and libraries, do you want to go beyond them? Do you want to escape from them and truly manipulate the hardware from its memory directly? Four, do you want to escape from experiencing bugs you don't understand? Five, do you want to escape from being afraid of technical documentations like the reference manual and the data sheet of the chip? And then six, do you want to escape from imposter syndrome? And imposter syndrome basically means feeling as if you are not good enough and one day you will get caught or found out. Do you want to escape from all of this? Because if you truly understand how to build things from scratch and understand each and every line of code you write, then your confidence level will shoot up massively. So, do you want to escape from all of this and arrive at 1. Using no IDEs simply using text editors and build systems two writing your own linker script three writing your own c startup file four building every single line of code from scratch by writing to the microcontroller's memory space directly five using no third-party libraries or header files six understanding and writing every single line of code yourself no copy paste seven using the debugger to effectively analyze and resolve any bugs and then eight developing proficiency in your embedded development skills and confidently taking the next steps so if you want to arrive at any of these um destinations then this course is definitely for you like i mentioned this is more than just getting each piece of code to work let's give an overview of some of the key aspects of this course in this course you would understand the build process in order to be able to truly develop firmware from scratch we need to understand what goes on at each and every stage as the .c and .h source files are being converted to .elf executables. We will analyze the pre-processing stage, we will analyze the compiling stage, 
and then we'll analyze the assembling stage. Then we'll go on to analyze the linking stage all the way to the locator stage. In this course also, we shall write our own linker script. To be able to properly merge the various source files and place different sections of the source files into different memory regions of the target microcontroller, we need to write our own linker script to tell the linker the different regions and sizes of memory available on our target microcontroller and also in which regions of memory we want to store specific sections of the source code and we shall do this from scratch on our own. Then in this course we shall also write the C startup file. The reset handler is the first function to be executed when microcontroller comes out of reset. We will have to define this reset handler function in the C startup file and we will also have to define what is known as the vector table in the same file. In this course we would also learn how to automate the build process using the make build system. A build system is a piece of program that takes source code as input and produces a deployable software as output. Make is one of the popular build systems out there. We shall learn how to automate our build process with make. Then we shall do the other things like analyzing the chip documentations. After all, before developing the firmware for any target chip, you have to learn how to read the documentations provided by the chip manufacturer. We would also learn how to define peripheral addresses. All components on the microcontroller have an address range. To write to a component or read from a component, you need to locate its address range in the documentation and properly define the addresses in your code. Then from there, we shall go on to create registers from the addresses. The addresses in the address range of a component represent the registers of that component. To access these registers, we have to properly typecast these addresses and we shall do that as well. And then we shall also do things like exploring and understanding the, um, the Cortex microcontroller interface standard also known as CMSYS. CMSYS is a standard developed by ARM for all Cortex microcontrollers. This is the standard used in professional embedded firmware development for ARM microcontrollers. So we shall learn about this as well. So there is a lot more to explore here. So you can take a look at the full course curriculum and it comes with a money back guarantee. So really there is nothing to lose. Okay, so I hope to see you in there. Have a nice day.